Well, hey, hi Donovan, hi Joyce. Well, I am still here in Houston, Texas. Hello, yeah, so I'm working on this, uh, the logo. I had a really neat idea from, uh, where are you? It was Angela, right? Where are you? Where are you? Where's your name? Uh, Angela. Sorry, Angela. Angela Benner. Anyways, I, we're working one drawing every day, no matter what. I'm working on a logo. Not sure how it's going to turn out yet, but today we're going to draw. <laughs> I've been looking at this duck a long time. We're going to draw a lesson from uh, Drawing in 3D. And this is a lesson called Quack. We're going to draw a little ducky guy here, but we're going to do a little interesting take on it. And remember, you guys can pre-order my our new book coming out. Uh, get one of the exclusive first prints. Order it on. Uh, this is the website to order it on. Go to markkistler.com right there. And click the top tab to where it says order the book. And we, uh, once again, thanks for bearing with my mute button with my uh, allergies so uh, that would be great hope you guys can get my new book this is drawn in th uh, 3d this is from Simon and Schuster but we're gonna draw that quack the the duck so if you guys are ready let's uh let's have some fun one drawing a day no matter what Woo! one drawing a day so let's get going here now Angela sent me a really neat idea for a logo and I was gonna kind of combine that Angela's idea with uh, my idea not quite sure w uh, where it's gonna lead us to but I just thought it was so neat she did a really cool one and emailed it to me so I'm gonna go ahead and just sketch in the outside here of this and then um, I'm gonna have the, for for our our uh, you know the one finger coming up over here and I'll block in the where the fist is going to be. And then I'm going to have the thumb coming over the top right here. And then the finger's going to come around the top. Then I'll tuck these little fingers underneath here. There's the bottom of the, the wrist. And so there's the one, right? I just thought this was so cool how she did this. Now I'm going to make a big, I like the drooping fabric. Now she had it reversed. I'll show you what she did. It was just really cool. What, what she did with the lettering. And I, I love getting ideas. You guys email me ideas all you want. I'm putting together a book. A little booklet. A reference book of all your drawings that you email me. It's going to be really cool. And I'm going to uh, try to have that online. or some kind of an index online for you guys. So one dry a day, every day, no matter what, even when my office feels like it's about 200,000 degrees and I'm sniffling and, and uh, allergies going crazy today. So, all right, so what I want to do is I want to do this O. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to have the O for the one, right? One drawing a day. I want to have the O like right here. I'm going to shrink that just a bit. I want to have it oh, a little smaller. Okay, so how what Angela did, she had these uh she had these really cool letters. And I'm going to have the D coming over here hanging on the outside. But, you know, nothing like doing this live, right? Because I want to have the D hanging here. Draw the D, one drawing, right? Now, she didn't have it hanging on the bar, but I thought it was kind of... And then this one down here, I'm going to do one more. Took one more D underneath here. And I'm trying not to make it too big because this one should actually be a little bit bigger than that one. So, yeah, that's all right. 
So one drawing a day, no matter what, right? Isn't that kind of cool? Like instead of OCD, it's ODD. All right, well, good thing to have me. Hope you guys are not hearing that. I hope my mute button is working for you. Okay, so one drawing a day. So up here we write one drawing every day and then a bam and then I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put a uh, like a text balloon right here no matter what right so it's going off here the text balloons going off the page you guys like it so far I've been pay haven't been paying attention to your comments because I've been working on Angela's logo but every day we get I get so many great emails and comments for you guys and tonight I'm having a quite a bit of an allergy fit and I was like oh my goodness I don't think I'm able to make it tonight but no matter what right no matter what I'm gonna have this go in the front of it here we go. That's kind of interesting. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. All right, so let's shade that underneath there. One drawing a day, no matter what. Oh, here goes the old mute button again. All right, now first of all, tell me, how, how are you guys? Uh, love the old school animation hand. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's my hand. I've, uh, I'm going to get better at these every day I draw them, right? That's the idea. Here I am, been drawing professionally for 40 years, and my hands still look like mittens. But we keep practicing, and we keep getting better and better. And we'll give ourselves the license to fail, the license to flop. Remember that? Even after teaching for all these years, some of my drawings, I look back, I have a whole collection. I have a whole collection right here. Look at all these. Look at this stack of drawings. This goes all the way back. Look at this. Do you guys remember these? All the way back. All the 90 drawings. And I was searching for the birthday cake that was uh, for... My, our friend, that birthday cake drawing we did back two months ago, and I can't locate it in my pile of mess, but it certainly motivated me to clean and organize and find it. So it's coming to you, dear. I'm going to find that thing. All right, let's put a shadow under here. Now, we're going to draw a duck today, and it's called Quack. It's kind of a salute to Ed Heck, or... Our cool friend. All right, so let's put more. Makes me smile because it brings my Bugs Bunny and a certain mouse. And a certain, you must mean Martha Mouse. Okay, this one is no matter what. Oh yeah, we're spending more time on the logo than the actual drawing but what why not all right so I'm gonna take this around here and there's our fun little exclamation mark Joel Adams hello Joel Adams how are you doing one drawing a day and I'm hanging hanging from here We'll have our little medallion. And what is it? How many days is it, Karen Wall? Let's see. While I once again mute the button so you won't hear me. Let's see here. What day is it? How many days? 96 days. Thank you, Karen. 96 days. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to clean this up. And I'm enjoying it. That's pretty fun, you guys. 
Cool, cool, cool. No matter what, come rain or shine, come energy or fatigue or joyfulness or moody, whatever you're at, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, pick up a pencil and I tell you, drawing is the great elixir of happiness and joy, except for it won't help you with allergies. It just does not do anything for allergies. I'm sitting here and try not to sneeze. As I I actually took a Zyrtec, my allergy medicine, and nothing's happening here. It's not helping me. Not helping me at all. Uh, I love my cats, but boy, am I allergic to them. How's that? I have two cats, and I'm so allergic to cats. Hey, Clinton, how you doing, buddy? This is a... Uh, Clint, did you did you go live with Let's Draw tonight? I got a great drawing tonight. We're gonna draw a really cool duck. So let's take a look. I kind of like that, no matter what one drawing. So this is uh, Angela's idea for Angela Benner, kind of her idea for a logo. I love it. I thought it was pretty cool. So I thought we'd try it out. Now the one that I'm working on for the YouTube channel is this one right here. Now remember, we're in transition right now. We're I'm so excited. I'm going to give you give you an opportunity to support me and my team on the uh, Imagination Initiative. I'm still going to be doing these one drawing a day for free. They'll be on Facebook for about 12 hours. And then I'll take them off Facebook and I'll put them into my uh, wonderful Draw 3D family. It'll join hundreds and hundreds of other lessons. And I'm so excited. I get to give you an opportunity to support me and my team isn't that cool so if you're enjoying us these lessons uh are, they will be available on draw3d.com and right now it's still 49 dollars to sign up next week it's going up to 199 for one year still a fantastic value but you can get it much better off right now if you want so grab that deal while you can join it and you can uh, draw every day we're going to keep going 180 degrees of madness and beyond and I promise that I'll try to keep my allergies under control. So we're going to draw that duck. So we're going to go to Quack here. This is page 174. And we're going to draw a different a little version of that duck. So here we go. Day 96. We have our cool guys sitting here watching us. So I'm going to draw the duck's face right here. And he's kind of looking at that 96. And... I'm going to draw his neck. Now, the duck's beak, this is what's really interesting about drawing the duck. They have this wonderful beak coming out of here. And if you, if you look at the duck's beak a certain way, it looks like a dog's snout. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I would take my phone and show you a picture of it, but my phone is occupied right there. But do you know what I mean? Oh, you used to watch Imagination Station when, when I was so little. Well, thank you, Amber. Thank you. How, how do I do? I sound exactly the same except for a stuffed up nose. This is the joy of live. <coughs> the joy of live. That's raw. Martin Jones. Hi, guy. How are you? I'm drawing. Look, I'm going without glasses today because my allergies are just not letting me do it. So, kind of drawing half blind. I'm drawing a foreshortened diving board. Okay, think of a wooden board. Think of a block. Just pretend we drew a block, okay? Just pretend. See, we drew a block, right? You with me? Sneeze break. Uh, hi, Melissa Hawkins. How are you? Now, now, let's take this. Let's clean this up. I'm going to clean that up here. All right, this is the fun part. Now, watch. I'm going to start from about right here. But right here, I'm going to draw an S-curve coming towards you. So watch how I do this. I'm going to curve it down. And we're going to see how that, that curve is going to be a very cool duck spill. It's going to come over around. The, here's the eye, right? The eye is going to be right in here. This is the near eye. The near eye is going to be a little bit larger. And the far eye is going to be a little bit smaller. Now, this is very similar to uh, Donald Duck, right? This is one of the ducks that I learned how to draw with. 
you might have to like, I oh, hope you feel better soon. Oh, it's just, it's me. It's just my life. We all have fun burdens we get to bear with grace and humor and style. Mine happens to be allergies. Okay, so I'm going to draw this. Watch, I'm going to draw this, the duck's bill. See, I want to draw this really cool folding. You see how it folds right up over the top of it? And this, following this guideline, how, how are you guys doing? One through five audio, uh, one through five video, A, uh, A5, V5. Hey, five being great, one being terrible. How you doing? Okay, I'm going to curve this down. Now, this is the part that if you look at it, looks like kind of like a dog's, a dog's uh, eyes and a snout and the dog's ears on the side. All right, so I'm going to draw the duck's hair coming back. I unplugged myself trying to turn off my my fan. My son is going to be 21. He always tells me when he gets to see you at events. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. Well, actually, I'm going to have the duck looking at the 96. He's looking at the 96 up here. He's going, oh, yeah. 96. I'm going to pull the duck's chin in here. Now, what you want to do with his with his hands. I'm going to use his, uh, this was Chicken Little did this, and way back when I was growing up, the big rooster with the uh, Saturday morning cartoons, <coughs> The his arm went out. His arm was actually his feathers, his wing. So I'm going to draw, see his elbow comes out. I'm going to draw, like, his hand here, see? And, see, his his hands, his fingers are actually his feathers as they move back. You see, isn't that cool? And I kind of want to have this hand stretching back here, and I want to have his feathers wrapping around like he's holding up what I want him to do is holding up a pencil. And he's really reaching here. Going up, now I'm going to overlap that feather, and then this feather, and that feather, and these feathers. And they'll come down, and the, the back of his hand, there's finger feathers. And they kind of work their way back. And then he's holding a pencil up, making a point. Get it? Oh, are you getting my point? So, up, oh, sneeze break again. Ah, the joy of allergies. Then the joy of having allergies and having a son that loves to vacuum the house all the time. Oh, the dust, the dust, the dust. All right, now. So I'm going to take this and clean all this up here. Looking cool, guys. I'm going to put a, some shading under his feathers to really pop that out. Do you guys love it? Isn't that great? So we've been, had kind of an interesting evening here with our little fun logo. Thank you, Angela Brennan, for the idea. If you guys have any ideas, I haven't settled on one yet. So send me ideas. I love getting ideas. 
we're going to have fun with this. And also keep sending me, keep emailing me, emailing me your drawings when they finish. Alfred, you should take ginger, honey, and lemon for the chicken cartoon question. Foghorn, leghorn. Fantastic. Duck, duck. Nope. No jaw, just a bell. He's, that's, he's got a cool mouth there. All right, well, there's my little ducky guy holding a pencil, and he's swirling the pencil. Fun little guy. What shall we name this guy? I don't know, but I want you, have you ever seen those little pictures about the, the dog's bell, the duck's bell turns into a dog? Have you seen that before? Okay, put a little shadow. All right. Well, thank you, guys. So I'm so glad you guys drew with me tonight. With my me, with my sneezing. Man, there you go. No matter what. One drawing a day, every day. That's awesome. Yeah, good luck with the allergies. It's my lifetime enjoyment process. Uh, check out markester.com. Support us at the Imagination Initiative. Here's a book you can order online at uh, Amazon Prime. You can order, pre-order this one. You can draw in 30 seconds. Get it online at my website. Pre-order it. Order a little cartoon inside. We'll do it for you. Remember, these uh, really fun daily drawings, one drawing daily no matter what, they're on, uh, they'll be on Facebook for 12 hours free. Then we're going to transfer them over to our uh, Draw 3D site, and lucky you, you get this wonderful opportunity to support me and my wonderful team for our initiative. Uh, sign it up. Remember, the price is going up next week. It's going to go up from $99 for a family membership to $199. You can still get it at half off that $99 at $49 today. Until we switch it over, it's just a technical issue now about when we switch it over. It's, I, I had anticipated switch, was switching it over by now. But it's still at that current price, so grab it while you can. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for drawing with me. Uh, enjoy building up your sketchbook. Send me copies of it on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys have fun. Bye, everybody.